Now, first things first is uh, this template can be downloaded below. Next, we're going to be going to Google. I'm going to get some images, so I'm going to type in casino theme. Click on images. And here you have a variety of pictures. Now, depending on your style, go ahead and um, browse through the pictures, select the pictures that you want. Once you've selected your pictures, go ahead and go back to Photoshop, um, file, open, and open all of the files that you've saved. So these are the photos that I've chosen. Perfect. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do first is create the background. And the background, I want this as my background. So I'm going to hit select A, I'm going to select all, command A, copy, paste, command T or control T for Windows. This lets you adjust the size. Now notice I'm not going exactly to the edges for printing purposes. Once you find the position, go ahead and click enter. That will finalize the actual drop. Next, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is close this eye. Next, what we're going to go ahead and do is click the background layer because we're going to be using this layer next. Quick selection tool and hoover over the black. Okay, you notice that it selects everything but these transparent grounds here. Alrighty. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do is select inverse, which will completely inverse the entire selection. We're going to go back to layer one. Open the eye and hit delete or backspace. Now this will create the template for you. Alrighty. Next, what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to add some images. Quick selection tool. Okay, now that you have everything selected, you're going to go ahead and hit copy, control C or command C. Go back to your original file. Command V as in Victor or control V and then control T to transform this. We do want to make this a little bit smaller. Grab this and move it back up here. Now to make sure that the size is proportioned, go ahead and just hold down shift. That will make everything proportioned for you. Once you find a spot for it, just go ahead and uh, build from there. Okay, once you find a place for it, go ahead and settle that down. Now to the right, we're going to have our layers panel. Now don't go ahead and double click that. That is our deck of cards that we just inserted. So go ahead and close the eye just to make sure. Open that eye. There it appears. So I know that is our cards. Here is our new background, which is fine. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our next item. We've already used this, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Uh, okay, here we go. Next one. Quick selection tool. Make sure you grab everything. Copy. I go back over here. V, control V to paste. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do label that dice one actually we'll label it dice four because it's number four okay next what we're going to go ahead and do is i'm just going to go ahead and uh, duplicate that layer that's fine we're going to label it dice number five we're going to actually we'll label it dice one because we're going to turn it control t 
and then we're going to go ahead and turn that. Now notice I'm only turning this layer and not the other layer. So once you're done with that, um, all you're going to have to do is add in the text. Make sure that the color is, let's say, uh, white. And let's type in Casino Night 2013. Okay, in this case, you can see that they are too close together. So what I'm going to go ahead and do Command A or Control A. I'm going to Windows, Character, and I'm going to go ahead and increase this to 24. Get the Move tool. Don't need that anymore. And there you go. So Casino Night 2013, um, I mean, you can get a little more creative, but this is a tutorial just to show you the basics. Now, once you've got your complete set template, go ahead and hit File, Save As. You're going to save it as a PSD. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and just type in Casino. I'm going to save, save it as a Photoshop so that if you ever want to go back and edit it, you can go and edit it for future clients or anything like that. Um, now, when you do want to put it into the Breeze software, you do have to save it for web. You have to save a certain template so that these images are transparent. You're going to want to save this as a PNG-24, which leaves this area transparent for your client's pictures. Go ahead and hit save. Once you hit save, you can save it as casino.png, or when you do transfer it, into Bree software, you're going to have to label it overlay. Put it inside your folder and you're set. <clears throat> All right, that concludes our tutorial for today on the 4x6 one large three picture template. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and comment below and I will be sure to answer every single question possible. Thank you guys.